If you're ready to harness the power of your communications data, blast off with Nihilus today. Hi everyone, welcome to Coding with Nihilus. Uh, so on this live stream, we talk about programming languages, APIs, and helpful application for developers. My name is Ram. Hey, I'm Black. How's it going, Black? I'm doing fine, thanks. What about you? I'm doing good. Uh, looking forward to the weekend and some warm weather. Yeah, yeah, me too, totally. <laughs> uh, it's it snowed this week after after 30 degrees of yeah. hot weather, so looking forward to some warmer weather. Yeah, totally. So what do we have for today? Oh, nice. Uh, today, uh, we're going to do an intro to the Nihilus Quick Start Guide. So we recently launched uh, new features to support developers using Nihilus and learning about Nihilus. And this is a great way to onboard uh, developers. So we're going to go over the Nihilus Quick Start Guides. And before we jump in, let's take a look at what Quick Start Guides are. Um, so there are a lot of variations on the internet, a lot of services or SaaS software as a service providers. Uh, give developers quick start guides to get started. So this is either a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, for uh, developers to kind of get on board with using a platform or software or a service. And we do have some of this already inside of our developer or developer.nylist.com on our docs. So these are more of like a text-based walkthrough and tutorials, but we've actually brought in the concept of a quick start guide into our actual Nylist dashboard. That's true. So let's jump in and do a walkthrough of that so we can get a better idea of what this quick start guide looks like and how we can actually start using it to build with Nihilus. Perfect. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Stream. Cool. So here we are on the Nihilus website, so where it is at Nihilus.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to first log in. So just log in or sign up if you don't have an account. So I already have an account. And if you look at, let me just zoom in just a bit. On the far left, you'll see Quick Start Guides. And once you've signed up, you can go through and start using the different Quick Start Guides to get an idea of how to actually build with Nihilus. Um, so we're going to go through one of them, but we have different quick start guides based on the functionality that you're looking to build. So if you're looking to work with email or calendar, we have multiple examples for you to take a look at. And as you'll see, we have the examples and the code samples available in different programming languages. So let's take a look at the read email uh, quick start guide. And in this guide, it's going to walk you through how to actually connect to an account how to start re reading email, and it'll show you all the different code that you need to actually get that going in your own application or even to build a proof of concept. So here first we get the preview. So read the email sample app preview, and then you can go ahead and click start to get started. And this is an example of what the application will look like. So by clicking start, you'll see that you get a lot on the page all at once. So the first thing we want to take a look at is setting up your code. So you can go ahead and select the actual different backends that you want to use. So we're using all the different backends available that are part of our Nihilus SDK. So our Nihilus SDKs, we have a Ruby, Node, Python, and Java. So we have backend setups in all our, all our quick start guides for uh, the different SDKs. Mm -hmm. And the example we're going to walk through today is Node. And for the front end, we just have React right now, but you can actually build with Nihilus using any front end, even vanilla JS if you like. Yep, that's true. And before we actually take a look at downloading the app, just kind of take a look at what the Quick Start Guide offers to give you an idea of how you can walk through this and how you can start building with Nihilus or start taking this functionality and adding, adding it to your application. So the first part of the Quick Start Guide is actually to set up your server. So we have multiple steps here and what you need to do to actually add Nihilus to your application. So the first step we have here is installing, installing the Nihilus NPM package. And on the actual right side of the screen, we actually have the actual code, uh, code that you can download and take a look at. And we've highlighted section of the code for you to go ahead and copy as well. So after you've done that, it'll walk you to the next part, which is actually initializing the Nihilus SDK. So here, 
you see that we're actually initializing the Nihilus SDK so we can start communicating with Nihilus to receive emails on behalf of the user. And over here, we've also added some redirects. So anytime we're registering a user or a user signing up, we can redirect the user to the Nihilus dashboard. Mm -hmm. So this redirect will be used for authentication that we'll take a look at in a second. So over here, it says handle communication with your front-end application. All we're doing is setting up where the, where the application is going to be re redirected to or where do we redirect any incoming redirects to our backend. So we'll send it to the actual front-end application. And the next thing, which I know, Blog, you've been talking about is actually webhooks. So we brought in the webhook <laughs> uh, utility that's available in all our SDKs. One thing to keep in mind is that this webhook is actually uh, usable in development. It's not recommended to use in production. Mm -hmm. So what is it doing? Doing is actually registering for all possible events. And it'll start uh, printing out all webhook events that occur from the actual Nihilus. So anytime you send an email or you update an email, you get specific events from the actual webhook from the actual Nihilus webhooks. And the next thing in the steps is actually the authentication. So we're using hosted authentication, with which we talked about in the past, in past videos, and as well, we have blog posts about. But we've set up the application so you can actually authenticate the user and start building up functionality to, to, to access the different communication data for the user. In this example, we're going to look at reading emails. So the user is going to, going to authenticate, and then they're going to actually start reading emails or displaying emails from that user. And another thing that we've added here is just an authentication middleware. And what this does is every time we make a request on behalf of a user, we just want to convert that user or grab that user's access token. So for now, we're actually storing that information in a database. And this is... Uh, in storage database, we're not using a persistence layer for the code sample, so you'll have to bring in your own database or persistence layer. For now, we're just storing everything in memory within the application. Actually, uh, just to update that, it's not actually stored in memory, it's actually stored in a file, uh, a single file as a JSON file, and you just bring that in every time we run the actual backend server. And then the next part is just handling routes. So this is where you can add any specific route that you want to build out for Nihilus. In this case, we have the Nihilus email, read email route. And what it's doing is communicating with Nihilus to receive the first five emails for the user. Perfect. And that, that walks us through the actual backend application. So this is the first part is where you set up the backend. This is just a walkthrough to show you all the different parts of the code sample. And the next part is looking at the actual front end. So in the front end, we're actually using a Nihilus uh, library. So it's a Nihilus. Uh, hyphen React library, and this is used to actually set up authentication and communicate with the actual backend server. So once we have that installed, we're just going to import the different functions that we use from Nihilus, and we're just going to be using a Nihilus custom hook. So this is a React hook that will bring in functionality that we can use when communicating with Nihilus. And the main reason that we're going to be using this is to actually authenticate the user. So anytime the user enters an email, which we'll see in the demo, we're going to uh, ex uh, send the user to that specific provider. So if, we're, if they, was, they give us an email for Google, we're going to check that they can authenticate with Google, get their information, and then start sharing all their emails with them so they can take a look at their emails. So here's a form for actually getting the user's email. And then afterwards, we're going to be using the Nihilus hook to exchange code from URL tokens. So this is going to communicate with our backend to authenticate the user, connect to the user's email, and then we can start reading their actual emails. And last but not least, it'll say run your application. So now we've kind of walked through the front end application, and we can start running the application and seeing how it actually works. That's so pretty others... cool. What's that, Vlad? I was going to say that's pretty cool, and I love how each step is going to send you to a highlighted part of the code so you yep. can actually follow in a better way. Yep, totally. And after this, we do have a few more steps to show you how to actually go about testing the application. So if you're not sure how to test it out or how it should work, we have screenshots to show you how to run the application. So it says make sure you have the front end and back end running. Mm -hmm. You're going to go through the next step, which is authentic authenticating your email account, which we will show you shortly. And then you can actually go ahead and walk through the step of authenticating the user's email account 
with the specific provider. So in this case, we're using Google. We're using a Google account. And we work with all providers, Google, Outlook, Yahoo, Apple. Um, and you can go ahead and authenticate their account. And afterwards, you can start receiving information via web hooks. So this will tell you all the specific information related to the account, whether the account's been connected, any message details or message created. You'll see all that information within your terminal. And this is what our application is going to look like. It's going to grab the first five emails, and we'll be able to show them or read the specific emails within, within this uh, code sample. So let's go ahead and take a look at doing an actual walkthrough of downloading that locally and seeing what it looks like. So we're going to be running the Quick Start Guide locally. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and be notified every time we uh, are releasing a new Nile, uh, Coding with Niles episode. Awesome. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, we love to hear any comments, any feedback, and any any upcoming top topics. I know Blogs always excited to present uh, our topic requests uh, uh, yeah. that come in. Uh, <laughs> so we love to hear those as well. Totally. All right, let's get running. Running the Quick Start Guide locally. So I'm just going to share my screen again. And we didn't cover the actual downloading of the app. So all you have to do is you can download the app, and it will download a zipped version of the application. So you can go ahead and open that up in your favorite code, coding editor or IDE, and you can start running the application. So we're going to take a look at doing that next. So here, I actually have the application running. I'm just going to close it. I'm just going to restart it quickly. But before you actually go ahead and run the application, one thing you need to do is actually install the packages. So I'm going to install the packages on the front end and as well the back end. Now that we have all the packages installed, you can actually see from the file explorer that we have the back end and the front end application. And one thing I didn't cover is as well is, and I won't show the file, but when you download the application, you actually receive the M file. So this is provided to you by Nihilus. And this contains all your credentials that you need to actually get up and running, building with Nihilus, and as well connecting different accounts. Mm -hmm. So now that we've installed the packages, let's go ahead and start the backend. This is going to start the backend. It's going to start, uh, uh, start up the webhook tunnel as well. So you'll start seeing webhook events. And we're also going to start the front end. So I'm going to go npm start for the front end. And here we go. This is the application that we saw uh, in the actual Quick Start Guides running locally on our machine. So let's go ahead and connect an account. So I'll use my work account. And, I, and it's going to first walk you through hosted authentication. So this is a, a functionality or feature available with Nihilus is where you can actually use our hosted authentication to authenticate and connect accounts. So you don't have to build any of this out by yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sign in with Google. And once I sign in, it's going to start showing me all my emails. So within a 10 to 15 minute span, we were able to go through a quick start guide, download the code, and now we can actually start reading our emails. Yes, actually, it's so simple. <laughs> I've tried myself with Ruby, Python, Java, and it's all seamless to just download, configure, run, and you can read your email, you can send emails, you can create events. So it's fantastic. Yeah, so we went through a Quick Start Guide on our Nihilus dashboard. So once you log in, you should have access to all the Quick Start Guides. Mm -hmm. uh, you can walk through the code on the dashboard itself as well. You can download it and just start inspecting the code. I know developers like to just kind of try stuff out locally to make sure it works. Uh, everything's working. We've been testing it out for quite some time now, and we'd love to hear if there's any feedback. Uh, if there's something that you find as well, why are you going through a quick start guide? Yep. And we also get a nice layout. What's so that? applications really look cool. Yeah, I was I was actually going to say the UI is really nice to build with, and uh, we we've actually been building using the Nihilus Quick Start Guide already. So we have quite a few applications that we built and we've done live streams for in the past. The Easter eggs. <laughs> so I've been dropping a few Easter eggs, and I'll share my screen. 
And I think in the past, we've done at least four different live streams using yeah. Quick Start Guides. Mm -hmm. So I know one of the first ones we did was uh, visualizing calendar events with sunburst charts. Mm -hmm. So here you can connect to your calendar and you, you can actually go ahead and, and analyze how you're actually spending your time. So this was one of the first few uh, live streams we did using the Quick Start Guide. Another one I think we did recently, and I know Blog, you were a fan of this, is we did uh, Inbox Zero functionality. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, so we built uh, a quick, uh, we built an application, a proof of concept, where you would actually gamify checking your email. So you could use the up, right, or left arrow to go through your inbox very quickly and categorize your emails. Uh, yeah. And a few more just before we wrap up here, we actually did another one on doing mail merge. So this is where you can actually create a React template. So mail merge with React templates where you can create a React template and view how that email will look with different users before you send off those emails. Last but not least, we created a mini CRM. Uh, so we created a mini CRM that would show you all your past contacts, when they were last contacted, and you can actually send them a follow-up email. Yeah, that's amazing because that shows it that you can not only just download the quick start guide, but you can actually expand it to your needs and create something that looks nice and that works well. So it's like Nylas is already saving a lot of work for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and also, uh, this is the, the one thing that that's not as well known or, or kind of like the quick start guides are kind of the, the rocket or the fuel. Uh, to get you going in terms of building your code. But if you're, if you're able to build and share and get other users to onboard, that's even more powerful. So now we've kind of changed up some of our pricing and packaging to allow tin free users. So, and that's great news. So once you create an application, you can get tin free users for your, your application. And this will allow you to kind of get through that proof of concept phase and to get multiple users using your application and giving you feedback. Mm -hmm. Yep. So definitely check out nihilist.com forward slash pricing to learn more. So we do have a free package now. And as well, we do have a pay-as-you-go package. So these are things to check out when you're building with Nihilist to, to learn how you can optimize for your user growth or how you can kind of build in that demand cycle with your application when you're building, when you're working with Nihilist. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're making it easy for developers to try out and build great stuff with Nihilist. And always check out our blog, nylas.com forward slash blog. We've talked about some of the product features or the features we've released, our updated pricing and packaging, and as well, we've done blogs on building with the Quick Start Guide. So all our past live streams, we do have a blog showing you the code sample and how to actually build those functionality and features out. And don't forget that we have live streams every Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. EST, 11 a.m. PST. So we change our schedule just to make it easier for people to watch live. Uh, so, you know, just watch the show. Let us know what you think and what you would like to see on the upcoming episodes or if you would like to be our very first guest on the show, which would be yeah. amazing. Go ahead and check that out. Um, and, yeah, again, live streams twice a week. Uh, look forward to having you join us. And that leads us to one of our final questions. What's coming up next? So next what's going to be very amazing. It's going to be how to send an email using DRPy, Google, ChatGPT, and your voice. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I actually saw a demo of this. So I'm not going to give any spoilers, but this is going to be a fun one to check out for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's all we have for today. Yeah, don't forget to follow up on social. Uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. at Nylas. And obviously, you can go to developer.nylas.com to get all the documentation that you need for your Nylas needs. And I think that's it. That was amazing episode. Uh, Quick Start Guide is just amazing. So I'm happy that we could share it with the world. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what everyone builds with Nylas and as well, including including myself, we can build so much more now that we have some fun UI to play with and we have some code samples uh, for different use cases. This was awesome. And remember that you watch it first here on Coding with Nailas. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> yeah, bye.